Hey guys, Marcin here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and so this is another one of the 200% team showcases that I've been looking forward to. Uh, I've always been a big fan of this Int Gotenks, I feel like he is a little bit underrated. Um, he's very very good for things like Super Battle Road because of his stun chance and built in additional supers. Uh, and then of course in a longer form event if you save up and then you know use the Super Saiyan 3 transformation near the end it could be a very powerful finisher. So I think he's very very good. He's full level 10 links uh, rainbow for me. Um, I wanted to make sure we showed him off here in his base form because he's not exactly particularly impressive on turn one. So we've got five links active here, 40% support from Goten. On turn one in his base form, he just gets one key and 100% attack and defense, which is nothing too crazy. He does greatly raise his defense on super attack though, which is a 50% raise. So he's got a little bit of support here, so it's not going to be exactly 50% of what you see here. But he is probably going to be at a good, like, almost 250, if not just over 250k defense after he super attacks, which is pretty good. So let's go ahead and grab these and then we will just pick up these. He's not getting hit anyway. So obviously the base form is the least impressive. <laughs> Dodge the normal, take the super, typical. Uh, yeah, his base form is obviously the least impressive, but he's only in base form on the first turn. And then on the next turn, he becomes a Super Saiyan, and you're probably going to be using the Super Saiyan 1 for the majority of the event. Especially if it is something like Super Battle Road, chances are you're going to finish before the uh, transformation condition kicks in. Because you can transform him again, um, like, is it turn 7 or something? Because it's four turns after he transforms, which is turn 3. So, yeah, usually turn 7. But when he transforms into the Super Saiyan 3 form, he does have a couple of abilities that are um, turn restricted, so like he gets extra bonuses for a few turns. So what you normally want to do, especially in a longer form event like this, is you save up his Super Saiyan 3 transformation for closer to the end, so you can make the most out of his full potential. I remember using him on one of the category missions, like if you save the Super Saiyan 3 for the uh, full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku phase of the legendary Goku event, like the last phase where he is tech, then, obviously, considering he also has type advantage, the Super Saiyan 3 Ghost Saints just goes absolutely crazy in that stage, which is really, really good. So, physical Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is here, obviously, to provide some extra links uh, and the Super Saiyan 3 link later on in the event. I already did the showcase for him. I wanted to make sure I brought some other Super Saiyan 3s and stuff on this team uh, and some other Gotenkses for some of the other links. So, that's why I made sure to do the 200% showcases for... Physical Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks and the Tech Super Saiyan 3 GT Vegeta before we got to our boy. So now that he is a Super Saiyan, he still greatly raises defense on Super. He also does immense damage and has a 70% chance to stun. And then his passive key 2 attack and defense 100%. But then he has multiple RNG procs. So he has two separate 50% chances to get an extra 50% attack. And then two separate 50% chances to get 50% defense. He also has a 30% chance of launching an additional attack. So the only annoying thing about this guy, using him it is still kind of annoying. But especially when you're showcasing him, is it, you can never be entirely certain which procs you actually got. I wish they would add like a bit of UI to this, for example, where you could actually see... Like, it would show you what parts of their passive, like, again, we've talked about this before, about how that would really help out characters that have a chance to guard, if you were actually able to see whether they were guarding that turn or not. But, anyway, we've got four links active, we've got the support, he's at 235k defense, so he's going to be over 300k after he super attacks. Now, obviously, he's not being attacked at this point. But yeah, that is pretty good when you think about something like Super Battle Road. Not only is he offering up this 70% uh, chance to stun, you then have a 30% chance that he's going to have an additional, and then you get that stun chance again. And then obviously with the hidden potential additional, you do have the potential that he can super three times in one turn. So 3.4, that's with support and four links active. That's not too bad. It's nothing too crazy, but obviously this is where this like the damage starts to stack up, right? Is when you get an additional super. Can we get the triple super turn as well? Okay, so each one of those supers as well, remember, is giving him the 50% defensive raise. So after that second super, he would have been over 400k defense, which obviously is pretty good. It'd be interesting to try him out in the future in something like the red zone, just to see if he 
is capable enough of like hanging in that event without getting completely destroyed. I guess we will uh, have to see in the future when it comes to global. But I think maybe he could be. I mean, after a double super, getting up to 400k defense. I mean, that means that's pretty much means he's going to be good against anything except for like the super attacks from you know the last bosses of the red zone. He might not be taking double digit damage. But he's not going to be taking, like, you know, 70k per normal if he's got 400k defense. So now we can get some good uh, Gotenks links here. Uh, we got Fused Fighter. Um, obviously, we uh, won't get the full potential out of these links until we are a Super Saiyan 3 as well. And you can see here the defense is a little bit lower. So we can only assume that we did not get as many of the defensive procs uh, for this turn. Unfortunately, no super attack for Goten, but that's fine. His defense is relatively decent. He was super attacked in the previous turn, though, so his defense is probably uh, a little bit lower than usual here. Um, yeah, 28k, though. That's not too bad. We should even survive a super just because of how uh, much HP we have. Uh, yeah, 7,000. That's not too bad either. There's a dodge as well. Let's go. So, yeah, this S I keep saying it, but this Tech Goten, very impressive on this team. So, 3.9, thanks to the extra links from the uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Obviously, on the turns where you're not getting any additional supers, that's where he's definitely not going to look super impressive. Especially in an event like this, right, where you can't stun. So, I mean, the damage that he did was pretty decent, and his defense would have jumped up to a very reasonable amount. But, obviously, he's not going to be... Uh, you know, the hardest hitting unit on the team or anything like that. So, very good for things like Super Battle Row because of that utility. Definitely usable in an event like this because, as I said, after super attacking, his defense is definitely going to be high enough that he can, uh, you know, take the attacks. But bear in mind, on this build, we got no trunks. So, the Margin Vegeta is we picked up the six orbs for him to give him the 20% damage reduction, but we are missing the 30% for having a trunks on the team. Still not the worst damage from uh, a super attack from this stage of the Vegeta event. And obviously the team has a ton of HP. So we have a lot more uh, wiggle room, I guess, in terms of like recovery. So, But yeah, we can get this phase done and move on to the God Vegeta. And let's see what we've got here. So again, we've only got the one support. Uh, we don't have a crazy amount of links active. We've got the support memory up so we can get some health back here. So yeah, four links again, 200k defense. Uh, it's slightly higher than the last turn. So did we get an extra proc? Because he's not got more links active here than he would with uh, an actual Gotenks. So I don't think we are... Um, I don't think he's gotten like, any of his extra procs. But that's the thing, it's hard to tell, right? Because on the first turn of him being Super Saiyan, he could have had all of his procs active, and now we're just comparing it to that. Or he could have had none of them active, and we're comparing it to that. And it's, it's what comes back to what I was saying about the fact that the game just doesn't tell you. So, obviously, again, after super attacking here, he's going to be at almost 300k defense. If he gets an additional super, then obviously even higher than that. Where's Goten at now? 248. I'd be a bit worried about Goten taking a super attack in the first slot here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put an item up. Um, let me just show you guys again. We're getting pretty close to being able to use it. So his transformation condition is HP 70% or more, starting from the fourth turn after transforming. So he was on turn two. Um, so yeah, next turn, we should be able to transform to Super Saiyan 3 if we want to, which I think we probably will. Um, and then obviously I'll go over his uh, conditions and like the differences he gets and everything once he becomes a Super Saiyan 3. Look at God Vegeta just dodging Goten. Go on, Goten, dodge him back. Oh, never mind. Alright, so Whis was a good shout because uh, as good as this Goten is now on the 200% team, I don't want him taking a type disadvantage super attack uh, this late on in the event without an item active. That would be pretty bad. But yeah, double supers from our boy again. So now he's like well over like 350k defense. We get the third attack, but unfortunately it is only a normal. Like, on the turns where he triple supers with support, he's got, like, you know, close to 500k defense if you actually get the triple supers, which is very, very good. And again, in events where that is, a you know, a possibility, 70% chance to stun as well. So, definitely very good. We need to make sure we get a bunch of health. Oh, perfect. We're actually going to get the Dokkan attack this turn. So, I was going to say, I was just about to say, we need to get a decent amount of health. Uh, back ready for next turn because um, 
we're obviously going to have Gotenks on rotation. We want to be above the 70% so we can get the um, get the heal. Uh, sorry, get the transformation. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, so we should be good here because we have the Weiss active. Uh, the friend Marjo Vegeta that I brought is two dupes, I think. So what is he here without support? We were under the HP restriction, so yeah, he's at like a 5.28 attack stat. Not bad, considering he has his, uh, he's got his best link partner here, all seven links active. I didn't check what the link levels were for the friend, to be honest. But no support on the rotation, and he is two dupes. So 5.2 million on his attack, not too bad when you consider how good defensively he is. Obviously this turn we got a Whis active, so you can't really see the major difference. But yeah, nice big damage and a double super as well. Let's go up to 5.5. Because remember, he does raise attack and defense on super attack. So his defense after this is going to be very, very good. Um, and we did get the orbs for the Tech Marja Vegeta, which makes him effective against all types, as well as having the guard. So he should be able to finish off God Vegeta. Look at that, double digit damage. And this is on a team build where there's no trunks, right? So, double super, he just takes double digit damage from God Vegeta. So, very, very good. Obviously, God Vegeta is not like the hardest boss in the game or anything. But, I mean, there you go. Double digits from a super on a, t on a turn where there was no um, trunks on the team. So, here we go. Let's go ahead and transform our boy into a Super Saiyan 3. Super Gotenks. Yeah, the animation's still pretty cool. I do like the uh, close-ups. So, now, we've got a Super Saiyan 3 on the rotation, so we are getting limit-breaking form. Uh, Super Saiyan Innocence, Fierce Battle. Obviously, now he becomes an over-in-a-flash unit, um, but we are keeping him with the Goten for the support. So, he's looking at, what, 150k defense at the start of the turn. So, as a Super Saiyan 3, he greatly raises attack and defense for three turns, does immense damage and still has a 50% chance to stun. So remember, his super attack effect can stack a couple of times. So additional supers are still really good for him. And then attack and defense 100%, plus an additional attack 100% when performing a super. Three key and a great chance of launching an additional super for four turns from the start of the turn. So once you've transformed four turns and you are getting an extra uh, three key and 70% chance of launching an additional. So hopefully, when we get the uh, tech, uh, sorry, the physical Gotenks in slot three, so we are pretty much going to have our full link set active. I'm really hoping that that is the turn where we can get the uh, triple supers, because uh, then he is going to be putting out some pretty crazy numbers. So let's go ahead and see what we can get out of our boy. Look at Gotenks still tanking for double digits. We've got no item active now. The Whis effect is not active currently, and uh, 3.4 million attack stat from him. Um, very, very good. <laughs> Mainstay on all of these showcases for giving this uh, the Gifted Warrior support as well as being a solid unit in his own right. So let's see what Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks can give us here. He has got type disadvantage. 6.1 million on the first turn. Okay. <laughs> 6.1 mil. Uh, his defense is going to be over 200k. We get the crit. There you go. There's the additional 6.6. .6. So we jumped up by what? 0.5. So if we can get the third one, he should go up over 7 million. Ah, oh, we only get a normal attack. We still get a crit, though. But, yeah, pretty decent. Um, so, remember, that attack uh, stack effect on his super stacks a couple of times. So, on the next rotation, we are going to have him with the physical Super Saiyan 3 in uh, slot 3. So, he's going to have basically his full link set active. And when he supers, he should be at his, like, maximum stack, basically. So, we've got to take a bit of a risk with the Tech Vegeta in the middle here. But it's definitely more important for the Int Marja Vegeta to get the damage reduction. Because obviously we got type disadvantage in this uh, in this stage. Watch Tech Marja Vegeta now be the one that takes a super attack though. That seems to be the, uh, the typical kind of luck that we would expect. But 4.3. We didn't grab any orbs for him. I wanted to make sure we could get 6 for the Int Marja Vegeta. So he's not effective against all types. So, he probably doesn't do crazy damage. Because that's the thing, Tech Marja Vegeta, his attack stats might not be super high. But remember, if you're getting three orbs, he's effective against all types. So, that is effectively making that attack a little bit more impressive, even though the attack stat is not as high as we would like. So, I think post-super, my Vegeta probably lives a super attack from him, you know. But, 
Anyway, we don't have to find out. So, here we go. This will be a good test. We've got every link except Supreme Power. Uh, he's got... 318k defense at the start of the turn and this next super attack that he does is going to give him a 50% raise remember that's off of his base because this is with some of the stacks and the support but he should still be going to easily over 350 possibly even close to 400 after he super attacks so I'm going to leave him in the middle obviously if he gets super that would be unfortunate and uh, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks at the end doesn't have his uh, passive for the dodge chance, so he might get a bit destroyed here. But we're just here to see what Int Gotenks can do. So we're going to go ahead and uh, super attack with Goten again. And then, yeah, this I'm really looking forward to seeing that we should break 7 mil easy with this uh, super. And if we can get additionals as well, obviously that would be perfect. Yes, yeah, 7.69. So basically 7.7. .7. Uh, for his super attack. And again, this is like a realistic team build. I didn't just bring... 8.2. <laughs> I didn't just bring a bunch of, like, support units that are too weak to use in this event. Like, this team, we could keep going and easily beat the event. Look at that. We get the triple super turn. 8.7 million attack stat. It's just a shame he's got type disadvantage, but there you go. We get the crit this time. 5.5 mil. So look at that. As long as he's getting the crits, he's doing the damage. But imagine him against the tech enemy on that turn. Triple supering with the last one being over 8.5 million attack stat. Like, man, <laughs> he's good. <laughs> All right, so let's put you in slot one. You don't actually need to, like, guard or anything. So let's just grab these. Um, let's use the final explosion. Why not? We'll see one last turn for Gotenks after this. Um because we're going to have the other Margin Vegeta in slot 3, I think. Which is kind of good, actually, because they do both have over in a flash. So, uh, not that Gotenks needs the extra key, but that would obviously be pretty helpful. So, he's still going to have a few links active. And we'll see what attack stats he puts out, because he's going to be at maximum stack and everything for his actual damage. So, uh, we'll go ahead and do this. And then, yeah, let's just grab these for you. Right, taking the super straight away is not ideal, but we're basically on full health, so we're not going to take huge damage from this. Obviously, in that instance, the guard would have actually helped, but... Although, no, we are going to die. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> but the uh, Int Gotenks, very, very impressive. That final turn with the triple supers, like, one absolute beast. I just realised how long this video is as well, so I think I'm perfectly fine to leave it there. But yeah, Int Gotenks, crazy, crazy good. Let me know what you guys think down below. Um, it'll be interesting to try him in the red zone when it comes out, but I don't know if his defense is going to be good enough. But let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in seeing. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store, and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.